In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear wheel bearings on this Infiniti FX35. Let's get into it. Take this center cap off. I'm just going to use this straight blade screwdriver. Pop that off. If your vehicle has a wheel lock key, you want to loosen that on the ground by hand. Just use a 21 millimeter socket. Just get that started. It's good. Using a 21 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. And take the cutter pin off. I'm just gonna use some side cutters. Unfold that. Take that out. You wanna throw that out, replace it with a new one. Using a 32 millimeter socket, take this nut off. Now you wanna take a punch right in the center there and just give it a tap with a hammer. Make sure this is loose. We're gonna disconnect the CV shaft where it attaches to the rear differential. I'm just gonna mark it so it goes back together the same way. Little mark there if you want to put an X there, an X there, so you know. It's good. Using a 14 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter socket, take the nuts and bolts out. There's a washer there. You're gonna spin it and do the same for the others. all those bolts out, you can slide the axle down and slide the axle back. And just be careful not to rip the boot. Let's rock it out of the way. You could just leave it there if you want to, but just slide it out completely. That'll be easier. Using a 19 millimeter wrench, I'm gonna take the bottom caliper bracket bolt off. We're gonna keep the bracket and the caliper all together. Just take those two bolts out. That one you just need a wrench for, and the, the one that's a little higher, we'll just use a 19 millimeter socket. Take those two bolts out. Grab the caliper and just using a brake caliper hanger support caliper and just find an area to hang it from. Using a hammer, just tap in these areas right here, hit the rotor off. If it's loose, then you can just slide it off. On the back side, there's four bolts. You want to take those off. Use a 19 millimeter socket. out. These ones are a little rusty, so I just got to tap these on.
Those are all out. You can try using a hammer. Just see if, see if it'll come out, just tapping it out. Yeah, that's coming out. Or you can use a slide hammer if that's not working. There we go, slides right out. Just gonna take a wire brush and just clean up the inside of here. Put a thin coat of anti-seize, just where the corrosion was on the knuckle. I'll just prevent any, uh, any hub from freezing in there again in the future. That's good. Take the hub, line it up. Only goes on one way. Take the bolts, get the bolts started on the back side. Tighten these down. Now I'm going to torque these bolts to 77 foot pounds. That's all of them. Just take a thin coat of anti-seize, just on the hub surface, not on the studs. Slide the rotor on. I'm gonna take the caliper, you can take the hanger off. Make sure the hose isn't twisted. Bleeder should be up top. Slide the caliper over the rotor with the pads. Take the two bolts, get those started. Started and tighten those down.
Now torque those bolts to 62 foot-pounds. And the bottom one's a little tricky. Do the best you can. But you want that to 62 foot-pounds. Slide the axle back in place. Just be careful, don't rip the boot. the axle in place. Get the bolts. Put the bolt on. Lock washer and the nut. Make sure that's lined up with your marks. That's good. Spin this around. Same with the rest of them. Snug these up first. I'm just gonna spin it to the complete opposite side and then snug that up as well, just so it's even. And then go around and tighten them down. Now we're going to torque the bolts and nuts to 52 foot-pounds. I'm just going to mark the one I just did. Not that it matters if you torque them over again, it's fine. Just you want to make sure you torque all of them. That's the one I already torqued. I'll just double check. Yeah, I already did that one. So we're good. Those are all torqued. Put the axle nut on. Get that started. T 
taking a pry bar, going in between the studs, having the other end on the ground, and we're going to torque this to 177 foot-pounds. That's good. Take a new cotter pin, slide it through, and just using some side cutters, just fold it over. You can fold over the other side if you want, or just trim the excess. Just tap it down. It's good. Put the wheel on. The lug nut started. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. Take the center cap, line it up. Lock it down. After you're done, it's a good idea to pump the brake pedal in case there's a little bit of an air gap with, in between the caliper and the brake pads. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.